Well, if you live along a river or at least drove past one, you might have seen floating chunks of ice. 22 News Storm Team meteorologist Jennifer Paye explains how ice jams form. Icy, to say the least. If you live near a river, you might have noticed chunks of ice floating there. 22 News viewers sent us photos of ice floating down many different rivers here in western Massachusetts, especially along the Connecticut River, via reported at WWLP.com. This photo is from Kim in Charlemont. It shows a chunk of ice that floated right onto the riverbank. Here's another photo sent in from Jessica. You can see the chunks of ice floating right up on the side of the Connecticut River in Northfield. This video was taken Saturday of Miller's River in eastern part of Franklin County, where chunks of ice floated right on down the river. 22 News went to Brunel's Marina in South Hadley, where we could safely take video of the ice chunks from the side of the Connecticut River. An ice jam is when water builds up behind a blockage of ice, which can cause flooding due to the extra amount of water. Ice jams can cause flooding because the ice can block the flow of the river. 22 News talked with one Belchertown resident who said he hasn't seen anything like this before. I think it's literally incredible. Like, I would never expect to see this, like, here. Like, I would expect to, like, see it somewhere where there's, like, a huge glacier, but it's, like, it's here and it's, like, amazing. It's, it's, they're really clear and they're literally, like, huge, like, massive pieces of ice. An ice jam is caused by melting snow and ice, which usually happens during the springtime. But due to the mild weather western Massachusetts has felt and the heavy rain Friday, ice jams and floating chunks of ice was the result. In South Hadley, meteorologist Jennifer Paye, 22 News.